Today I'm coming with commentary on Love and Marriage Huntsville. But before we get into it, please take this time to like and subscribe to this channel. Know that all things on this page are alleged. And in my opinion, it is for entertainment and commentary purposes only. Now let's get into it. So Martel gave us material for days with all the things that he have said. But one of the things that I want to focus on is the fact that he has let his children down yet again. What am I talking about? I want to play first this clip of him in the interview. And then I want to play back a clip, something the kids said that would make you look at him in a whole other light. And it still ain't a good light, but you'll be looking at him funny yet again. Produce a good show, um, and I want to be a part of a good show since I'm here, and I'm going to give a good show as much as possible. Uh, but I just, I'm just not going to continue to sacrifice my my family, um, um, whatever Melanie and I got going on, my, my children, and again too, you know, that's why I don't want my children on the show because I'm not going to be sacrificing my children um, for anything, no amount of money, no nothing, you know. So it why like now? Guarantees. Because they came on before. So why pull the plug down? Just out of curiosity. Well, to be real, because one scene, my daughter, my beautiful daughter, um, she said, "Daddy, um, we saw we saw you in a hotel with the with the lady." And this was on national TV. And I looked at Melody like, "What is she talking about?" But they left it there. But then I found out that Mel. Don't get mad, Melody. This is just the truth. No, okay, then leave it alone. Leave it alone. You, you we, we're going on a good part. If you say get bad, because I wanted to end on a positive. No, no, sorry, but Melody showed. Okay, me well, I'm coming picture. back. Go ahead. It, well, why would you say it like that, though? I mean, are you against me? We're interviewing. I'm trying to I'm saying, get it on the positive. What, what do you mean you're gonna come back? That means I'll have a different, like, a heart of questions. But go ahead. No, it's oh, not no, a I'm, yes I'm, I'm, you, you know, I'm I'm gonna be transparent. I'm gonna be honest about what. It, if you come at any questions, we don't have to answer okay. right now. We can go five hours, and I'm gonna answer to the best of my ability. But no, Melody has showed the, the kids a picture of, of me um, in a hotel um, with with someone, and and since then I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that, you know. And I was bothered by that. So since then I've been saying I'm getting my kids off the show, and you know a couple other things happened, um, you know, with um, I think. I forget what kind of lady she was. I don't know if she was a therapist or whatever she was. But, you know, she asked one of my kids, um, who do you like to be, be around, daddy or mommy? I'm like, what the? F I said, no. Yeah, so, we, we don't want to. Yeah, no, yeah. exactly. You know, I want my kids to love us equally, you know? Uh, so, anyway. And I think you what know, you were referring to happened, like, in season one or two. We saw that scene about the hotel. I think y'all covered that in the production. That's correct, right? And ever since then, is that the reference point that you're referring to? Ever since that, then, that, that, that was one of that was one of a few things that made me feel that okay, just not going right. You know, um, it just it's just not a place for children. Like a, a TV show, a reality show like this, I don't want my kids to be attached to it. You know, again, it did start getting a look 
you know, drama feel negative and stuff like that. And I just didn't want my beautiful kids to be a part of it. Okay. Okay. And, I, and, I, and I'm happy that the judge saw it my way when it came to that, you know? I don't know, Bartell. I read them papers. I think the judge saw what she oh. needed to do. Oh, I'm so sorry. What, what do you mean you read the papers? What do you mean? I, I'm saying in terms of the reason that the kids are on the show is because... Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm so sorry. When you make... Because that's a blanket statement. The judge saw it my way. The, that the could mean anything. to be on the show. Gotcha. Uh, but, but, but what are you alluding to? We, 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 we still lie. I, I so thought when I looked here with there was some... There was some decisions that were rendered by the judge to bring no, you no. both together. Of course. She's the mother. I'm the father. We better come together. But you have to clarify. That's why I said that's a blanket statement. When you say the judge saw it my way, people don't know what you're talking about. You we have to be talking, we, were just talk, we were just talking about, unless you're going to do some editing, but no, we, we were uh -huh. just talking about the kids. I and just want to make sure people follow you. I mean, but, okay, but what did the judge not see my way, though? The only thing she didn't see my way is me getting that $28,000 back. And that was because I was sanctioned because I didn't go to therapy. So, but what are you talking about, though? That's it. No, I'm I transparent. I, I, I'm transparent. Right. I don't, whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about it. Because I'm... Okay. I'm, I'm I just want to make sure anything. that whatever the judge, saw, the judge saw most things my way. The judge saw 99% of things my way in that courtroom. 99%. So what do you say she, she didn't okay, say Okay, what, what do you mean, your way? What did you need to go your way? So like I, didn't, I, I didn't want the kids to be on social media. They're not on social media. The kid, I didn't want them to be on TV. They're not on TV. Um, what else? Um, the, the, the motions that Melody filed against me, it didn't go her way. When, uh, the abuse, the abuse, the abuse, um, even the DHR, calling the DHR on me, it didn't go her way. None of it. You got the paperwork. It didn't I didn't see Melody ask for anything. This dude is a whole fool. First off, everything you listed was the same thing, in my opinion. Like, he said the judge agreed that the kids shouldn't be on social media and TV, right? He listed those separately. But aren't they kind of one and the same? The point is to not have them in the public eye. Therefore, he's trying to separate it to make the list sound longer when that wasn't the case secondly he says uh the abuse the abuse the abuse what they found that you should go to parenting classes and they found that you needed to do therapy with your son the one you were alleged to have abused so clearly they thought there was some credibility to what was said so don't act as if you know, Mel just made all this stuff up and the judge just thought she was, you know, throwing things at the wall, seeing if it was stick, as if it was all frivolous. Um, what else was it that he mentioned? The DHR, which would have, again, been the same thing about the abuse. He tried to list them separately when in actuality, they're the same thing. So again, Martel, try again. And 99%? Really? He, they agree with 99% of what you wanted? The only thing you got was get them being off of social media. Now, throughout this whole interview, we heard him contradict himself constantly, right? So, in the beginning of this clip, he says, you know, it's a good show. But then, why can't the kids be on it if it's such a good show, right? It just doesn't make sense. Then he goes into not sacrificing his family for anything, money included, whatever. But you've been sacrificing your family and the kids. That's why you're in the predicament you're in now. Because you wanted what you wanted. You sacrificed the kids. And when Queen Sheba asks, why now? Like, what, what made you want them off social media and the show now he responded by saying you know back in i think it was season two when they were sitting with the kids one of the girls had made mention to seeing a picture of him in the elevator with coleslaw right and he said ever since then he had an issue really because we couldn't tell like this dude just makes up things as he goes they have been on for three more seasons and now all of a sudden you're like you know what that time when like stop it and let's be truthful let's be honest 
you were mad that Mel didn't what protect you and didn't keep them from seeing the bad side of you because in your head you think that the kids should love you regardless right that's one of the things he had mentioned you know the therapist or whoever she is that you know asked who they would prefer to live with and I don't think they should say that well guess what if a child is in a place that is unprotected or they don't feel safe it's not a safe space for them they have the right to be able to speak up those people are trained to speak to kids to see if it is an environment that they can be in so just because you don't get your way does not mean that you can sit here and, and negate the facts. He just wants everyone to like him. He wants the kids to be fooled. He wants Mel to protect him about all the stuff that he was doing and make it seem like he's the good guy. That's what he's always wanted. That's why he kept saying, you know, no matter how many people I sleep with, it should never leave our household. And that's when the infamous line, well, you should have kept your penis in our household, came about. He really thinks that no one should talk about the things that he does, especially if it's negative, especially if it's bad. But Martel, this is the environment you created. Um, And let's talk about the picture. Because Mel wasn't there and didn't take the picture. I'm sure she didn't um, subpoena the hotel for the for the CC video. So who do you think sent it to her? Coleslaw, the person holding the camera, taking the picture. She probably sent it, trying to show off like, yeah, had your man be, had your man whoop de whoop like she always does. But you're not mad at her for that. You're mad at you're mad at Mel. Because, again, Mel isn't protecting you and making you seem like this great guy that you try to lie about being. Like, regardless whether Mel had shown that to the kids or not, they already saw you with her. You want her to protect you and keep this secret, but you're out gallivanting with this 304 in the Huntsville streets. And when Mariah saw you and said, get away from my daddy... You don't think that harmed her? You don't think that hurt her? But you, you're you worried about a picture. The same energy you want to bring to that picture, bring to the fact that you was out, out gallivanting the streets of Hunt, Huntsville with this 304. That's where the energy should be focused on, your actions. You know, Martel, again, you say that the kids should love you and Mel equally. And in a normal relationship, I would agree, you know, but because of your, in my opinion, narcissistic traits and the way you act and behave towards the kids, Mel too, but mostly towards the kids, yeah, I could see them feeling a way towards you and not on some, not just because you broke up the marriage, but more so the abuse, the the physical, the mental, that stuff takes a toll on children. But in your warped mind, I feel like you believe that the kids should love you regardless, regardless of how you may tear them down, regardless of how you ruin their life. In your mind, because you're their father, you should still be loved equally to someone who might nurture them and make them feel like everything is going to be okay. You know, you and your warped mind think regardless of how you treat them and do them that they should still love you and that's not how it works. Martel, you said that the show is negative. Although just a couple minutes before you said it was a good show, you later on said that the show was negative and that you didn't want your children linked to it. Well, what do you think would happen when you do all these derogatory things and say all these derogatory things about their mother? Like, you can't think that you could put these disparaging things out there, out into the world, yelling, shouting, acting a complete and plum fool and think that it wouldn't circle back to them. And let's be real. When it comes to the show being negative, you don't want that brought it. 
you the one that brought the negativity you're the one that continues to bring the negativity it is negative because of you but again i feel like you you only have an issue with your kids being attached to negativity or negative things so long as it doesn't come from you if it comes from you you're fine with it because there's no way you can do the things you do to their mother and think that it wouldn't come back to them but again i do believe that in your mind so long as you're the one bringing the negativity saying the disparaging things that it's okay like you are disgusting but let's talk about how this may be affecting the kids not being on social media and on the show my next clip, you'll hear Mariah, this is some years ago, but you'll hear Mariah say herself how she feels about being on the show and being on social media. Hey everybody, this is your girl Mariah. I've been seeing a lot of people on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter looking at Melody and Martel Holtz. They have a new reality show coming on. So today I have Melody here with me. Melody, you look beautiful. Bye. 
didn't Mariah do such an awesome job? Like, watching this little video tickled me because I said she is such a natural. And to be honest, all of them are. Like, they're all, they're, they have that it factor, just like their mother. So, to stifle them because of your insecurities and your wants and your desires is very selfish, Martel Holt. Because you can hear in this interview that they enjoyed filming. They enjoy social media. They get love. And I think, to be honest, that is Martel's number one problem. Is that they receive so much love. And again, typical narc behavior, typical narcissist, in my opinion, only wants the attention on them. So he said, if I can't benefit from it, no one's going to benefit from it. He wants all the attention on him and hope him only. And we know that to be true because what came out just days after or days ago is him posted with his fifth child on a public platform, on social media, even have a page for him. And we know that it's his because everyone else calls him Knox. And Martel's the only one gung-ho on everyone calling him Maverick. So the page is called Maverick Ho. But yet the Eminem kids have their page and can't be posted on it. Because of your selfish deeds. Because you want the limelight off of them. The love, you want the love they receive to be diminished. You are a whole demon, sir. Anyone who has seen the Eminem kids know that they have that it factor. They love to perform. They love, um, not for the limelight to be on them, because I don't think they really care about that, but they love to, you know, perform, and they're so eloquent in how they speak. So they are meant for this. They are meant for this lifestyle. But again, his insecurities and his hate in his heart, his selfishness, wants to stop all of that from happening and that makes you a disgusting mofo martel disgusting you know what martel i want to apologize because i didn't give you the credit that you deserve i called you a demon but it's looking like you're a full-blown devil but that's all i have for y'all in this one i'll catch y'all in the next one don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later peace Listen, I like chocolate girl, all shades, different flavors. She a diamond and a pearl. She a goddess with a mentor, yeah. Cinnamon swirl. She relate to what I've been through, yeah. Queen of my world.